In this video, we will continue looking at Chapter 10 Triangle Trigonometry, and we will be continuing in Section 10.1, Angles and Right Triangles. Again, taking this just small piece of section at a time, so you can go back and review these videos when you need to. In this specific video, we're going to be looking at how to calculate the arc length and the area of a sector. And we described a sector earlier as the wedge portion of a circle. So let's go ahead and look at uh, a sector. And we can see that a sector is made up of a, a few different important parts. You have the, uh, the central point right here. And you have a couple radii coming out here and here. And so those are indicated by R. So those are radii, and they're the same length, um, each one, because all the radius coming out from uh, the central point will always be the same length. But we don't know what this section is right here, and we don't know the, the length of that. So we're going to figure out um, that length, and we're also going to figure out this blue shaded area in here and under the whole thing. One of the things before I covered it up though I wanted to point out is this A right here. That A can either be given in degrees, and that's our central angle, or it can be given in, we can convert it to radians. We will need to convert it into radians for all of these um, problems and I'll re reiterate that throughout the video. If you want some more information, again um, Khan Academy does a great job on describing a sector a little bit more on detail than what I'm going to go into here but I'd uh, recommend going to that video if you want a little bit more in-depth information about uh, this part of circle geometry. So first thing that we're going to look for is the arc length and the arc length um, specifically is the part of the circumference over here like what we were talking about. It's that part of the circumference right there where um, the radii from the central angle uh, measure, they subtend the, the circle and basically they split it up. And so the angle that's right in here is the same angle that's out here. We're looking for that length of that arc. And so to be able to find that, we will use this formula right here and I will, um, Again, encourage you to write this formula down onto a note card. Use this for the test and use this for the final exam. Understand that arc length is big S and it equals uh, the radius times the central angle. And one of the big, big, big things is, is that, that this formula will not work unless the central angle is in radians. So make sure that you convert to radians before you do um, any problems looking for arc length. We're also going to find the area of the sector. And so we're going to find the space up under or in here, okay, that fills up the, uh, the sector. And to be able to do that, you're going to use this formula. Again, um, write down that the area of a sector, and so when you're putting this on your note card, you, you might want to write of a sector, so you don't confuse that with area of a trapezoid or area of any other number of geometric figures that uh, you might have uh, preparing for your test. And so area of a sector is big A equals one half of the radius squared times the central angle. And again, make sure that you always calculate the central angle A in radians, even if they give it to you in degrees. And I guarantee that you will see that. So uh, let's go ahead and look at this actually on a problem. So in this problem, um, a sheet metal worker wants to know the arc length and area of a sector it has a central angle of 150 degrees cut from a circular sheet of metal with a radius of 16 inches. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to calculate the angle in radians. And so we're going to go ahead and work this problem out. And we are given 
degrees. And you can see in the problem over here, we we're given degrees. So let's go ahead then and we're going to convert this into radians with our formula that we used from the last video. So go back and review how to convert degrees to radians if this is unfamiliar to you. And let's get the calculator. Hundred and fifty times pi, and then that number divided by one hundred and eighty. Notice I didn't reduce when I did that That's because I want all my digits as much as I can, and I'm going to end up with two point six two radians. Radians, there we go. Okay, and that's going to be an important number that I will want to be able to use because when I go to calculate the arc length, I'm going to use my radians for A here as part of the, the uh, formula. And so I'm going to say, all right, for the arc length, the arc length, length s equals the radius which I was given in the problem and I can see here of 16 times 2.62 and that's a times and let's get the calculator again sixteen times two Six two tells me that that arc length is forty one point nine two, and this was given in inches. And so I can see that this is sixteen inch radius across here, and this is forty one point nine two inches for my arc length. So now we they're asking for the area, so we'll go ahead and uh, put this into our formula. Uh, we have A still, um, which was the central angle, and so let's go ahead and calculate that. A equals one-half. Um, our radius is 16 squared times A, which was 2.62. Well, let's go ahead and start to solve this. Uh, we want to use, do our exponents first. So using PEMDAS. And we'll go ahead and go 16 times 16, because that's a square, remember. And not 16 times 2, but 16 by 16 is 256. So 1 half times 256 times 2.62 and so we'll go ahead and start to figure this out so one half of 256 divided by 2 and then times 2.62 and we have 335 inches but remember, this isn't just a linear measure, so this is actually inches squared because we are looking at an area. So we will indicate that as inches squared because we're looking at that area under here. Okay, that's the end of this video.